Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our best handheld vacuum video for 2024. We bought over 20 of the best selling handheld cordless vacuums and put them through all kinds of tests over the last few weeks. And in this video, I'll go over the results and choose our favorites in three different categories. So links in the description and let's get started. First, the basics. Handheld vacuums are designed for convenience and quick pickups. They offer a portable solution for everyday messes that don't require the hassle of a full-sized vacuum cleaner. They're ideal for cleaning kitchen counters, pet hair on furniture, stairs, or dirt in your car's interior. Their operation is straightforward, generally featuring an on-off power button with only one power level, except in a few cases. They often come with at least one accessory, like a crevice tool, but they don't need attachments to operate. All of the products we tested here are cordless, handheld vacuums of roughly the same size and price range. This year, I decided to cap the price at $100 on the top end. We started off by testing their airflow and suction power. Both of these numbers are important for vacuums like this. We combined both the airflow and suction numbers for a power score. FYI, I am only showing the top five scores for each category on the screen. Another very important factor is their battery life. We tested this on their maximum power where applicable and found that the average runtime was about 11 minutes and all of the top five were above that number. We also looked at their dust bin capacity by measuring what the maximum amount of debris they could pick up was in milliliters. Though I didn't score it, I really liked the bin on the Black & Decker Fur Buster and Black & Decker Advanced Clean models, which open up at the bottom with a touch of a button like a standard cordless vacuum, and it really is a benefit compared to the somewhat clunky way you have to empty the bin for most of these. Weight and ease of use is important, where the lighter they were, the more points they got, but it does tend to be vacuums with the worst battery life and lowest power scores that are the lightest, because it is a trade-off. If you want a bigger motor and a bigger battery, you have to deal with a little bit of extra weight. We tested their noise level on max power, though I didn't give them many points for this one way or the other, and there wasn't that much variation between them here. I gave them scores for shorter recharge time, where the average was about five hours. We did various pickup tests, where we would see how good they were at picking up debris of all types and sizes, and took off points if, for example, they got clogged on larger debris. One of the big factors for scoring was their attachment set. We gave them points for each tool they had, but I gave them a lot of extra points if they had a motorized turbo brush attachment. This is where it uses power from the battery to spin a brush tool, which can be very useful for upholstery vacuuming, and generally it just makes it a more useful machine. I did test some of the finalists head-to-head -head with their power brush on embedded pet hair and could not find a significant difference between them, but they were all really good. I should mention here that one of those, the Pow Tools model, which is sold under a lot of different brand names, did break when I put resistance on its power brush, and for that reason I took off points on that model, which is too bad because it would have been in the top three otherwise. We did test their filtration, and only the Bissell Pet Hair Eraser and Shark W1 did particularly good here. Most of them have filters, but they're not really good at filtering small particles, which is not really expected in this price range. So which are the best handheld vacuums of 2024 according to all this data? Our number one pick is the Bissell Pet Hair Eraser, which is also one of the best selling handheld vacuums of the ones we tested. It was a good all around product. It didn't score that high in any particular metric, but it was better than average in most categories. It was almost a tie though with our runner up pick, the Black & Decker Fur Buster, which has more power and a better bin design for the same basic price and could have easily been our number one pick if the Bissell didn't have the better filter. Our third pick is also our budget pick, as it's typically half the cost of either of the other two. It's the Black & Decker HHV1315J042, which is also a mega best seller, probably because of its price. The downside of the budget pick is that you don't get a powered brush like the other two have, and the battery life is much lower. The upside is, of course, its price, but also it's a lot lighter than the other two. Links in the description to the finalists, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching. All of the links in our description section are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. If you don't know where to start, check out our latest vacuum buyer's guide video linked here. 
You'll also find links to the vacuumwars.com website in the description where we post all the latest vacuum news as well as much more detailed top five lists in multiple categories.